looking at how to annotate an article using Google Docs. Before doing the annotations, you should have already read through the article and underlined any words you don't know. It is very simple to underline. All you have to do is highlight the word you would like to underline, go to the top and press the U with the line underneath of it on the toolbar. This will underline the word. Before going back to do the annotations, you should go ahead and define all those unknown words so that the clarity of the article is even more clear by knowing words you didn't know beforehand. Once you still have the word highlighted and after underlining, you, can always, you go over here to the add a comment button that you'll see on the right hand side that looks like a little speech box with a plus sign in it. Then you can go ahead and find the definition of the word and add it there. And now we have our definition. When going through an annotations, one of the first things you're going to want to find is the thesis because everything that comes before the thesis is the introductory information. And once we have the thesis, we can go ahead and indicate the intro information as well as the thesis itself. According to the key for annotations that I've given you, I want the thesis to be in red. So there's a very simple way to switch the color of the text. Simply go back up to the toolbar and write next to the underlining will be an A with a line underneath it. When you click that, it will let you choose from any number of colors, but we're gonna go ahead and choose red according to our annotation key. Once that's done, now we can mark everything that comes before it as intro information. The way to do this is we can simply highlight all of it. We're gonna add another comment and put intro introductory information. Now we will be highlighting and commenting on any important evidence we find within the paper. So we have one right here that says the first major conclusion is that nobody is great without work. We're going to go ahead and highlight that. If you don't need to add a comment though, the way to highlight it would go be back, go back up to the top to the toolbar right next to where we changed the text color and press the little brush button that says highlight color. We're going to go ahead and highlight in yellow for ease. Now, Let's say that you needed to add a comment to something because the information was too expansive. Say if you wanted to highlight this whole paragraph, it'd be a lot of information to go back and read when you're trying to write an essay or a short response question. So if you add comment and say, the 10 year rule means people need a minimum of 10 years of practice to reach greatness and then press comment. Now you have effectively taken a whole paragraph and boiled it down to one sentence. Once you have gone through the whole article, find the conclusion. The last section is the conclusion. You know this because it should have a restating of the thesis within it. But for our purposes, we're just gonna go ahead and highlight the whole thing with our cursor, add a comment and put conclusion information. The reason that we indicate conclusion and introductory information is because nothing in there is inherently new or is it most likely the introduction information is to catch your attention and the conclusion is to wrap up everything that was said and try to leave a lasting impression. This is a simple way of doing your annotations in Google Docs. Then once you're done and you have to submit the annotations to me, all you have to do is go to the top right corner, press share, type in my email and it will send it directly to me or in some instances, we may be uploading to the Google Classroom for your language arts class. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, please email me about annotations.